Welcome everyone. In this video, we will learn how to set up Jolo X on Google Colab and we will see how to do the object detection on images and videos using the competition capacity of Google Colab. I am really excited for this. Let's start with the video. You will find a link in the description of this video. Once you click on that link, you will land to this Google Colab notebook. As you can see, there are four sections in this Colab. First is the basic setup, second is installing dependencies, third is getting the files ready, and the final one is the demo. Okay, so let's expand the first section, basic setup. First of all, we will mount the Google Drive to the Colab notebook so that we can store and access files in the Google Drive. So to do that, we'll say from Google dot Colab import drive and then there is a function called drive dot mount we will give it a base directory that is content drive just before executing it let's just check the file as you can see there is just a single folder named as sample data okay so let's execute it okay click on that link Okay, it will ask you to choose your account, so choose whatever you want. Click on sign in. And then it will give us the authentication key. Let's copy it. Paste it in here. Press enter. If it ran successfully, it will say mounted at content drive. And similarly, if you can just reload this, you will be able to see a new folder created named as Drive. Let's just expand it. You'll be able to see all of the files of your Google Drive in here. Great. So the next part, let's clone the YoloX GitHub repository. For that, we'll say git clone https github.com slash augmented startups slash yolo x dot get let's execute it great so if you can see the file system there will be a new folder named as yolo x perfect let's move to the next step in the next step let's install the dependencies which are required to run yolo x first of all We'll make sure that we are in the base directory of YOLO X. For that, we'll say percent %cd YOLO X. Right. And then we'll say pip3 install hyphen u pip. So this will make sure that pip is updated and it includes all the packages that are required. The next step would be to run pip3 install hyphen qr requirements dot txt so why we are doing it qr is we are telling it to quietly read the requirements dot txt file by line and install the packages let's execute it and wait great so it has started uh, installing the packages let's wait till it finishes this video is sponsored by Altium, the industry standard and most professional PCB design software on the market. I've used Altium for designing printed circuit boards to build my own custom Arduinos and high-speed on-edge computer vision projects. When I tested other PCB CAD softwares out there, I found that nothing came close to the flexibility, ease of use and power of Altium Designer. I mean, if you ever worked on PCB design for computer vision applications, you know that transmitting video signals is a very delicate task. With many high-speed signals that you have to consider in terms of electromagnetic noise and crosstalk, Altium helps you to easily manage and route high-speed signals with length tuning to ensure that you receive clear image quality on the other end. What's really great is that we have partnered up with Altium to bring you an exclusive discount for our Augmented Startups community. Sign up with the link down below to get 30% off monthly of the perpetual license of Altium Designer. You can also try out Altium Designer for free for the first 15 days. Just click the link down below to get started. Great. So in the next step, we will build the YOLO X. 
For that, we will run a command called pip3 install hyphen v hyphen e dot. So what this command does is it looks for a file called setup.py and execute it. Great, so it took around a half a minute for it to complete. Now let's move to the next section. In the next section, we will download the weights file and some sample files for the demo. So for that, we'll just create a module called OS. So we will import it, import OS. We'll say if not os.path not exists. We're gonna give the path. And we can say os.mkdir that means make a directory named as weights. Great. So as you can see, there's a folder named as weights. Now let's just run this code block. It will download all of the weights. Okay, so the files are done downloading. Now we will download the sample file for the demos. So for that, we will use a library called gdown that will help us download the files from G drive. We will say import gdown. There's a function called gdown dot download. It takes three argument. First is the path, the URL, the link. Second is the name of the output file. We call it image.jpeg. The last one is quiet is equal to false so that it shows us the progress of download. We can copy the same for the next file and you will just change the link and you can call it video.mp4 let's execute it there you go so as you can see we will have files in the folder called video.mp4 and image.jpg Perfect. Now let's move to the next section. Great. Now let's look at the demo. To run the code, we would need to execute this command. So basically, we are running a file called demo.py and giving these command line arguments. So the first command line argument is called demo, which is the type of demo. So you can choose between image, video and webcam. The second argument is called name. That means name of the architecture. So you can choose between YOLO X, YOLO XX, YOLO XM, so and so forth. The third argument is called CKPT. That means checkpoint path. It's basically the width file path. The other one is path. Here we have to give the path of the file, which we want to run the demo on. Then the other one is called confidence threshold, NMS, device, and save result. If you want to save the file, let's just execute this. Great. So once this is completed, if you check the file system, you will be able to see a new folder created named as YOLO X outputs. Let's go deep down further. Great. Now there's this file named as log.gpg. It has all the detections. Perfect. Let's see how it works on the video. For the video, let's copy the same command and change the things. Great. So first we'll change the type. So the demo type is video. And then this can be the same, this can be the same. And we'll have to change the file path. So here we'll say slash content yolo x video dot mp4. So it's the same file which we downloaded earlier. Let's just also change the confidence threshold. Let's make it around 0.60, I think. That will be enough. Okay, let's execute it. 
great as you can see it has already started detecting the frames let's come back when it finishes great so it took around 49 seconds for it to complete let's just check the output folder again so now there'll be another folder created and you will see the file here so if we try to download it from here that's going to take time so what we will do is we will copy the file to our drive and download it from there so to do that we'll say cp paste the path and then we'll say content drive my drive video dot mp4 let's execute it great now let's check our drive and see the file there now we are in our drive you'll be able to see a file named as video mp4 let's download it okay let's play the file great now you can see it is detecting all the vehicles great great so we had a lot of fun doing that now i want you guys to try this on your own and share the feedback in comments good luck with that if you are interested in learning more about yellow x object detection tracking making a dashboard we have just the right thing for you you can enroll for our brand new course called yolo x pro dashboard where you will learn yolo x object detection how to train yolo x on custom data set natively and on google collab we will integrate state-of-the-art tracking algorithms and create multiple apps finally we'll build a full-fledged professional analytical dashboard that will be integrated to the ai engine made with yolo x and sort you can book for the pre-launch to get heavy early per discount hurry you really don't want to miss this we have an amazing library of courses related to artificial intelligence, augmented reality, and computer vision. Make sure to check them out on augmentedstartups.com. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please don't forget to leave a like. Do subscribe to the channel for latest updates and videos. If you have any queries or feedback for us, please make sure to leave them in the comments below. Have a good day. This is us, Augmented Startups.